Hey everyone, welcome to this quick tutorial video. Before we start, feel free to use the link down in the description to go to Wix. If you haven't signed up already, then you can use this link because it's a partner link and it, they will pay me a small commission, which helps me to do more of these videos and also to grow my channel. So I'm very happy if you use my link. Thank you. Yeah, welcome everyone. So this is probably the screen you land once you've signed up. And then Wix kind of creates a dilemma for you because they let you choose between the two systems. One is Wix ADI, which stands for Artificial Design Intelligence, and the other one is the editor. The editor is a little bit more advanced and gives you a lot more free design choices where you can, for example, move around the text or change the color of the text, which you probably need when you're like a professional web designer. But yeah, for more basic users, if this is, for example, your first website, you're probably better off with the artificial design intelligence tool from Wix, because it at the beginning will take you through a survey, asking you a couple of questions, what you need, what colors you like, and what pages you want. And then it will automatically create the page for you. And the editor is way more simple because it gives you less design freedom, uh, but this is at the beginning, of course, better. And please note, you can always change from Wix ADI, you can always change to the editor. It will then take your site to the editor and then you can go ahead. So it makes sense to start with it because you can't go back from the editor to ADI. You can only go back to the previous version of your website, but once you've changed something in the editor, you then can go back but only to the previous version so we, you will lose all your edits which you made in the editor. I will quickly show you now how it will look like here in the ADI editor and how you can switch from ADI to the editor. So I click on start now then I will go through the survey. Once I answered all the questions in the survey the system will automatically edit my site and create the site for me. It takes a few seconds and now the site has been created by Wix ADI and now I can click in here, change the text, the images and the content of the whole site. But the design capabilities are kind of limited because I, for example, can't change around the text position here. It needs to stick here. I only have some design templates I can choose from, but I can't make like individual changes. But feel free to play around with it. Maybe it's already enough for you. And maybe you kind of like it because everything looks kind of great from the get go. But if you reach the limit where you want to upgrade your design choices here, then you can click on the top corner here on site and then here want more design options. Then this pop up appears kind of warning you that, uh, yeah, we don't recommend switching to the editor and then coming back to ADI changes you make in the editor won't show up on your site. So as said, once you are in the editor and changed something, you can go back, but you will lose your changes. So then I click on switch to editor and then this, the system will transfer your site on all the changes you made directly into the editor of Wix, which is then the more professional tool where you have more design freedom. Now, as you see, it took the site into the editor and here you can now go in and click on all elements, for example, this headline here, and then I can move around this headline on my site if I want to ha have this headline here. And then I can also go in, change the text or change the design, for example, the font size, or on this background, I want to have it in white. Then I can change the font color here in white and move it to this part here. And yeah, simply have more design choices. Yeah, I hope you liked the video. My recommendation is to start with Wix ADI. And don't worry, once you upgrade your site, uh, you pay per website. So for the plans, it doesn't matter if you're on ADI or the editor because you're paying per domain. And as said, feel free to use my link to get started and hope to see you in the next video. I will create now some tutorials for the ADI system and the editor so you can see the whole system in action.